What's up, everybody? If you guys didn't already know, I'm working on a big ass job right now, and I had to go pick up some more t shirts. So, we got the rest of the t shirts right here. It's like an 800 piece order, 800 masks, and 800 t shirts. Almost done with it. Had to pick up the rest of the t shirts. It's about 6 48 in the morning right now, and I'm headed to go knock them out. And shout out to Bang for this morning's energy because. Without this, I wouldn't have been able to knock all that stuff out last night and this morning. All right, let me do a little bit of explaining. Some of you guys might be confused. People on Patreon understand exactly what's going on, but I know this looks a little bit different than my usual setup. So I just want to explain really quick. So am I still going to be pressing out of the house and creating shirts from the house? Yes. Why am I here in this other space? This space right here is so I can handle bigger orders. Pressing out of my house is cool. There's nothing wrong with that running my brands. Nothing wrong with that. But when I have these really, really big orders, space is pretty much limited when I'm doing something big. Let's say 500 is is pushing it because now I got to start putting stuff in the garage, start folding shirts in the garage and just start putting stuff to the side and just spreading myself out around the garage and my workspace at home. So having a space here is a little bit easier to maneuver around and actually have rack space to store all the shirts when I'm doing these bigger jobs get a little bit more organized. So that's why the scenery looks a lot different. Equipment is still the same, process is still the same, knocking all these orders out with transfers. Just some of these orders are a lot bigger, right? Like I said, 800 pieces for mass, these types of masks. So they're gonna be done on the hat press and then also 800 piece order for t-shirts is a lot more, mainly just space. Space is what's needed because I could knock it all out on the heat press it's just space is my only only factor in this so that's why i'm here figuring it all out just got moved in so i can handle these bigger orders but i'm still pressing from the house i still have a press at home still got everything over there so i could kind of knock stuff out the only things that changed are um the work tables that's the only thing that's um gonna be a little different at home and here all right so i'm gonna knock these out real quick and then get going because I'm pretty tired all right here is something i do want to show you guys though here's these masks the masks that are like pleated like this where they don't lay flat on your traditional press so they have more space for your face they fit on your hat press boom now you can place the transfer down press them up and then they'll come out something like this obviously this press isn't on but i did want to show this that if you do have the mass that are like pleated and, and kind of sewn around to give you more of more space in the mask that don't fit on standard regular heat press like the flat ones because you can't lay this flat because it'll get all wrinkled up use your hat press they fit on here perfect situated get it nice and flat boom you're good to go sad and everybody now that all the work is finally done let me see hold on 924 just finished all the shirts are done all the masks are done loaded up ready to go so before i get out of here i wanted to show you guys something very very quickly and that is i get this question all the time let me turn the press off i get this question all the time and it's hey man what t-shirt should i use what t-shirt do you use for your brands what's the best blank t-shirt to use hey man where do you get your single color transfers from who has the best multicolor transfers hey what kind of htv do you use because i want to use the same exact htv or hey where should i go to buy die cut stickers all of these questions right here are going to be answered in the sample packs here is a little sneak peek of what you get in the sample pack who I use for my t-shirts, I use All Style. This is a 1701. A lot of people don't know what a 1701 is. They've never seen it or felt it. That's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get an All Style 1701 in your size. Printed with this multicolor, big brando, get that money t-shirt design, right? Now you can feel it. Now you can wash it. Now you can wear it. Now you can see exactly what I offer my customers. Also, you can get your own multicolor print so you could test out. You're gonna get more than one. These are just examples so you could see what I'm going to be offering. You're also going to get a multicolor spot color transfer. You're also going to get a single color transfer. 
these are from different companies so you're gonna get all of them also not shown here is who i use for heat transfer vinyl i'm gonna provide samples of heat transfer vinyl for you to weed out and press on so you can check it out for yourself i'm also gonna send you a mask with htv pressed on it so you can see what that feels like i'm gonna leave links in these sample packs for everything offered in this sample pack so you could buy directly from them right so if you wanted to get these multicolored transfers the link is going to be in there if you wanted to buy htv the link is going to be in there if you wanted die cut stickers because those are going to be in there that's who i use for die cut stickers links for every single thing that i offer is going to be in these sample packs now the cool thing about it also is people always ask hey man how do you press htv what's your settings for pressing transfers what's your settings because i have the same heat press as you what is the settings that work for you i'm going to include that in these sample packs what i'm going to do is have the manufacturer's recommended settings like say it's like i don't know 350 for 10 seconds is the recommended setting and then i'm also going to include what i press at and what my settings are and what works for me that way there's no guesswork Will it work for you? Who knows, but it'll be a good starting point for you to see if those settings work for you. And then you could dial them in yourself, make the minor adjustments that you need to. But I'm gonna include that with everything that comes in this sample pack, all right? I'm doing this to hopefully help out people and answer a lot of questions that I've been getting all the time. So these sample packs are coming very soon. They'll be on the site. I'll leave the link in the description, but I wanted to show you guys before I release them what's gonna be in there because there's a lot of people that hit me up and say, hey, where do you get your transfers from? Hey, where do you get t-shirts from? Hey, where do you get die cut stickers from and HTV mask and all that stuff? Boom, here it is all packaged up for you guys for anybody that needs it. If you don't need that information, hey man, don't even sweat it, all right? You don't even gotta shop with me. If you don't need this information, do not think that you have to shop with me. You don't have to do any of that, man. I just want this information to get out there to anybody that needs it, all right? Hopefully you guys like this vlog. Sorry for the delay. But videos will be back this week. Appreciate you guys. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.